Merry Christmas, ye filthy animals. Tis the season for holiday cheer. But how can we do that on this channel to get Christmas and muscles? Well, look no further than Santa with muscles. Hulk Hogan's 1996 movie and buckle up, folks. This one hits hard. To start, our very own Wolf of Wall Street, Jordan Belfour, was an executive producer on this movie. So just imagine what the cast parties must have been like. Let's go find out, because this is Red Eye Reviews. Please remember, this month is entirely for charity. All of my earnings are going to the National Alliance on Mental Illness. Mental health is vitally important to everybody's well-being, and organizations like NAMI provide some much-needed help to those who need it. If you want to donate on your end, there is a link on this page. If you are not able to donate, you can also simply subscribe to the channel, as I will be donating money per new subscriber in the month of December. So, let's get to it. We start with an orphan writing Santa a letter. I don't want anything for me this Christmas, Santa, and now he's trying to take our orphanage away from us. Pretty deep, right? Well, uh, eh, don't hold your breath, okay? Because outside, somebody is repossessing their Christmas tree. Yeah, it's going to be one of those kind of movies. But we cut to our main man. And fun fact, did you know that if you ever get lost in the Grand Canyon, you can actually use Hulk Hogan's forehead as a map? That, that's so mean. <laughs> yeah, I went there, folks. It's this close to Christmas. I'm pulling all the stops out. But he starts fighting his way into this mansion. We, as the audience, are waiting on the edge of our seats for him to call somebody brother. Never stop to smell the roses. And he just doesn't do it. Okay, uh, when did the village people learn how to fight? They are impressive, but uh, he does get caught. Time. Four minutes, 23 seconds. He is actually Blake. Thorne, a multimillionaire who sells protein powder. Make a note, Chaz. My picture on the can isn't big enough. So we go and celebrate our amazing life with some drive through paintball fights, as one is to do. <laughs> Never trust the enemy, Captain. Hey, hey that's not safe! Yeah, I mean, this match. Firstly, uh, Clint Howard. How the hell are you? But uh, rather than pull over for the police, we choose to fire paintballs at them. And how do they respond to such a threat? <laughs> Holy hell is right. That, that was such an aggressive response. But we cut to a local mall whose Santa has disappeared. And this mall takes Santa seriously. They constructed a full cabin inside the mall, equipped with furniture and everything. Like, who built this cabin? Why did he take his job so seriously? We don't have time to find out, because we learn who our bad guy is. Meet Mr. Frost and his gang of evil scientists. They like to bully local homeowners into selling him their property. So introducing Mr. Flint, our world-renowned evil geologist, interesting fossil. Oh yeah, he will brush your rocks real good. Next is Mr. Vile, the Canadian chemist. Canadian chemist, Mr. Vile. Why do we emphasize he's Canadian? Well, because he's weird as hell, and we all know that all Canadians are strange. But Mr. Vile looks like a man slowly turning into a mole rat, and his superpower is spraying methane gas on people. Nature's perfume. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, fart spray? Because we all know Canadians are super farty. Which makes sense because of all the cheese curds they eat. Then, uh, we ran out of ideas. We did. We wasted the two best ideas early. We have no idea what to do for Gremlin number three. So she is just Miss Watt, who has electrical gloves. 
It is what it is. But back at the mall, Blake Thorne disguises himself as Santa Claus to hide from the cops. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Freeze! Let's get... Floor? This is a cement floor. But, oh no, he gets knocked out. Our elf, Don Starks, sees the man and he does what any elf would do in this situation. <laughs> he robs Santa Claus blind. However, when he awakes, we tell him he is Santa, and despite not believing that at all himself, he goes along with it. Santa! No. Yes? No. Yes? We still don't know who built this cabin, but we don't care because this town thinks Santa Claus is the shit. When coming out. The entire town appears to be here. They are lining the railing and the floors just to catch a glimpse at jolly old St. Nick. I do have my own theories that this town is secretly involved in some, like, Wicker Man-style ploy to sacrifice Santa Claus to our Lord and Savior Krampus. But I really don't have time to get into it. But, uh, if for real, just, just look at them. Look at these people. They each have murder in their eyes, and I would not put it past them. Over at the orphanage, we are introduced to someone you might not have expected to see. Good afternoon, <laughs> Leslie. <laughs> Any way we can be of help? Mila frickin' Kunis is in this movie. This is her debut movie. Yeah, she chose this one. Between you and Don Starks, we have half the good parts of that 70s show. But our goons return, they break our statue, they literally try to murder our orphanage worker... So we are invited to stay at the orphanage. Like, to live there, I guess. I, I don't know why, but we are. Well, thanks, everybody. I'm really glad to be here. You also might see this orphanage only has three children. Why? We found home for all of the kids that we could. We're the leftovers. Because they did so good that they found families for every child except these three stooges. How adorable were the other kids that these are the runts of the litter? I don't know. <laughs> nice jammies. <laughs> Whose mind doesn't have a tail. Am I a sheep? Am I a bunny? The next day, we eat breakfast. Just recycle this. Who the hell is Blake Thorne? His empire was built on protein powder and children's cereal? However... Our elf sees Blake's fingerprints on his glass and realizes he could use it to steal his money. Because yes, that's still what we want to do. For a hundred gazillion dollars, please place your stolen thumbprint on the scanner. We also see that Mila Kunis can apparently sew, and she learned how to do so from a comic book. Where'd you learn to do this? Mega Man, number 96. Don't ask questions, but it is abundantly clear that they are keeping her from getting adopted so they could take advantage of her savant level costume design. That is child labor and it is not accepted. Welcome to Lakeville, Santa. So tell us, how did you get here? Well, Santa, you look so much more healthy than you did last year. Uh, to eat a lot of reindeer meat. Oh. But we go to steal from the ATM, but not in the Mission Impossible style. Uh, no, no. Now, we just roll the actual glass over the scanner. That is your right thumb. Please place your left thumb on the scanner. Yeah, uh, it says wrong thumb, implying the machine does in fact have both of Blake Thorne's massive thumbprints, but is choosing to be picky in this particular situation. But that night, we see the minions outside again, threatening the orphanage to sell their property to Frost. Keep the milk and cookies warm. We also see Dr. Vile's transformation into a mole rat is almost complete. <laughs> but after this fight, the little boy is gone. You guys, where's Taylor? Oh, yeah. So we follow his trail to Frost's base. Our bodyguards are just uh, various scientists talking various science. And they carry T-squares as weapons, which I don't want to point out is not used by scientists or doctors, but, you know, whatever. 
We learn they want to buy the orphanage because something is underneath it in the ground. We're here already, so let's at least check it out. So we ask the orphan hostage holders, and they show us a secret vault door under the building. So how far did you get with the combination? Not that far. Three numbers. <laughs> That's as far as we've gotten. <gasps> Inside, we see electrically charged crystals, which are apparently worth a fortune. How do we know this? Our child genius tells us. These are pies that we left to crystals. I read about them in my geology book. Also, how did Hulk Hogan know the last digit of the code? I just want to figure out how I opened the vault. We don't know. And uh, spoiler alert, they will never tell us. So put that away and just forget about it. The next day, our minion breaks into the building and him and Hulk get into an epic fight. Ho, ho, ho. Ending with an animatronic Santa going against his native programming and attempting to murder our muscular man. But this fall jogs his memory and he remembers everything that happened to him. Back at the orphanage, we see our elf is... Still there. He does live there now, I think. I don't know why he is, but he is. The baddies break into the orphanage. The Some of us have no protection. Others are decked out in, like, full 2001 Space Odyssey suits. I want what's in your vault. Who's going to do my mining? Our man remembers what happened, and him and his village people take off back to the orphanage. The terrorists. Let them try some of Blake's way salad oil. <laughs> what the? We can also go ahead and add salad dressing to his list of impressively selling products. And how do our cops react to him greasing their path with salad oil? Why, with a rocket launcher, the obvious choice. Which one of you turkeys is responsible? But we do eventually get to the orphanage. Does anybody else think that this guy looks like if Michael Buble became a sumo wrestler? But upstairs we are hit with a truth bomb. Blake Tarachevsky doesn't fit on the bottom. Firstly, go ahead and add double bubble soap to his empire. Uh, protein powder, cereal, salad dressing, and soap. But also... You grew up here. He was your best friend, Ebna Frost. Yeah. He grew up here and somehow does not remember that. Also, also, the evil Space Odyssey guy was his best friend. So we run downstairs to fight him, and it gets intense. Don't flatter yourself. This is about money! Hulk Hogan is fighting a man with a giant electrified quartz crystal found in a cavern under an orphanage that only has three kids in it. Bet you didn't have that on your 2022 bingo card. But we all get out right as the building poltergeists itself to death. All the baddies get arrested. Our cops totally forget about Hulk Hogan needing to be arrested. Where are we going to go now? I think I know a place that's available. Oh, is he going to take them to his mansion? Nope. <laughs> he, he decides to declare squatter's law on Frost's old base. Because remember, folks, if you live there for more than six months, you can legally stay forever. Also, I do think that explosion killed a ton of people because there are so many more orphans in this place now. When an orphanage's business is booming, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I really don't know. But that is it. We end with them spying on the baddies in prison because I guess we can see them from here. And it's over. 
So, let's head on over to Red Eye Reacts. I don't want anything for me this Christmas, Santa. Kid, I tried that trick for years. It does not work. Rihanna. Pocket knife. Mm. Oh, golf ball. No. This laugh track being looped is literally a nightmare. <laughs> and this guy. <laughs> and the guy said. <laughs> I try to laugh a lot every day. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. No, I don't want this. This is naughty. Plus, kid. Wrist rockets have a much longer range. You could have shattered the window from the sidewalk. Yo. No. I will believe a lot of things, but you got service in a catacomb under a church. I can't even get service on the fifth floor in a downtown area, but sure. That is it. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As I said, in December, that is literally donating money to charity. It's a very easy way to contribute. If you want to donate personally to NAMI, there is a link on this page to do that. If you want the power to vote on future movie reviews, you could do so by signing up on the Patreon page, link down below. As always, love that community. Huge shout out to each and every one of you. I have a movie that I had to buy on DVD from Australia. Uh, it'll get here eventually. But when it does, I'm very excited. Link down below. Discord down below. Merch store down below. Happy holidays to each and every one of you. Enjoy the weekend. I will see you all next time. And until then, stay happy and stay healthy. <laughs> Never trust the enemy, Captain.